Welcome back to another cruise. In today's video, we are stepping aboard a ship that hasn't received much love and is only $99 per person for a two-night trip to the Bahamas, which to me sounds pretty good. Now, this ship is located in the port of Palm Beach and parking is valet, and we didn't see any other options to avoid this, uh, so you will have to pay to valet your vehicle if you're driving your own. Check-in here at the port is standard like any other cruise line. Walk up to the desk, do the little check-in, answer some questions, and they will give you your card. Just make sure that you have all of your documentation, passports, driver's license, birth certificate, whatever you need. Uh, make sure you've got it because you will certainly need it. Just ask them. Excuse me. I I just have a real quick question. Is this the room number? Yes, that is the room number. So that's, diff that's different than what was on our actual tags. That's the last What was on your tag? Uh, 7104. I'm coming. Um, what I will tell you though is that I guess we got upgraded to the junior suite. This is the junior suite. Right? Oh. Oh, okay. So, anyway, don't okay. get lucky to so land coming to your room, okay? Oh, wow. Just okay. Let you know. Oh, awesome. Right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. You are here for two days. Yeah, I mean, it's in fruit, wine, glass of champagne, peanut butter, like margarita, margarita, Long Island. All right. Yeah, we'll do that, I guess. Two, could I borrow your car? Yep. Please? Two alcohol package. Any soda package or something? No, it's okay. Okay, ten drinks on each pen. Every time you need a drink, they will scan and it shows how many balance on your pen. Okay. okay. How many in your party? All in a group? Just two. Just two. Like, I see all with a group, like, same time. No, oh, oh, no, nope, okay. just us. Could you sign for me, please? Good morning, how are you all doing? Do you purchase anything online? Welcome! Uh, hi! Okay, they need it inside. Lunch is being served in deck 10. Have you that ready? Oh, okay, thank you. Enjoy. All right, so Taylor and I are about to get on probably one of the cheapest cruises that you might be able to find here in Florida. Sure is. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we're going to have a really great time. We're excited. We're going to get uh, <laughs> to have some fun. Oh, yeah. How are you guys doing today? Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Hi. 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 Oh, thank you. Welcome. Let's just start on deck 10 if you're hungry. Okay? All right, thank you. Okay, so we have made it into our room here, and I guess we got upgraded to a junior suite area because, as you can see, there's no bed over here. Uh, in this part of the room and uh, I, I don't know if this is complimentary for everybody but it looks like they gave us a little bottle of Pinot Noir uh, and some water? That's, that's red wine right on ice and some yeah, water on it ice is red wine. <laughs> so um, definitely has the Margaritaville kind of theme here we've got nothing but a breeze some pillows um, you know Samsung TV this is <laughs> Right. This is legit the biggest room that we've ever <laughs> stayed in on a cruise ship. Um, and with that being said, you know, it's it's kind of funny um, that this is one of the cheaper cruise lines that you can get on. Yeah, so it is. Um, this is the bedroom area. So we've got quite a bit of space, which is pretty nice. There's Not that we really need it for two nights. But um, one thing that you should know is that this cruise line actually does not have any balcony rooms unless you go to a grand suite. So they, some of them do have an ocean view, which is the porthole area here, which is covered up right now. But um, you can see we're still in port and getting ready, everybody loaded. We've got the TV over here, which is uh, pretty large, which is kind of nice. I'm trying to not hit it. Um, refrigerator. Oh, I didn't uh, even see that. Water. These bottles of water are an extra charge, as you can see, $4.95 uh, a bottle. You got some, a little nice little ice bucket. There is a nice little I ice like bucket that. right there. That's cool. <laughs> um, and then let's talk about uh, some storage space here. We've got a closet with a safe. There is a closet in the other room too. Um, definitely plenty of hangers, way more than I think you'd ever need. There's, oh, that's a big closet actually. Oh yeah, and then we have a, a larger closet over here which is probably gonna have like our life jackets and stuff. Yep. More space to hang stuff. Yeah. Lots of room. Um, and then over on the other side is the bathroom. Um, which is actually uh, much larger than I thought it was gonna be, but that might be because this is a suite. Uh, so we've got the toilet here. Um, and probably what's very different than most other cruises you've been on is that all it has is a curtain here 
um, and then it has like this dip over kind of small space. So the shower space is actually quite small uh, for this or for what we're compared to. So, and uh, this is uh, something that I have not seen on other uh, people's videos is that there is shampoo and conditioner and body wash basically here. And it's all like, you know, Margaritaville somewhere spa. So, which is kind of cool. And uh, that is the quick tour because this ship is extremely old. Uh, if you don't know, this is actually part of Coast, Coast, Costa Cruise Lines, a Costa Cruise Lines, way back in like the 90s um, is when the ship was like actually built. It was then uh, partially like redone and renamed and then uh, the Bahama Paradise Cruise Line Company bought this ship. It is still owned by them. However, they have a partnership with Margaritaville. Ooh. So this ship is inherently exceptionally old. They're doing the testing on the TV. So, um, be prepared for something like that, that there is not going to be the amount of outlets that if you're used to cruising on larger cruise lines with newer ships, that's just not going to happen. So, um, there are, I actually see only one outlet and it is not even an American outlet. It is actually the 220, uh, European plug. So, um, that is something that if you do this ship that you need to be aware of. Now I did see in somebody else's video that there were 110s, but they were on the floor somewhere. This room, I'm not seeing them at all. We'll find them. Right here is one. So right here is a 110. Um, but then I think these are also 220s on either side. So keep that in mind, uh, something to think about uh, with this cruise, but yeah. Decent room tour. Oh my gosh, there's an outlet up there too. Oh yeah, there is. For a 220. So um, <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Uh, I think we're gonna go upstairs and see if we can actually get something to eat. Yes. And uh, check out the rest of the ship. Okay, so Taylor's gonna hold down our table and I'm gonna come in and just kind of check out the buffet area here um, and see what we've got. We've got some burger buns and hot dogs. So I'd assume that we're gonna have some burgers and hot dogs over here. Caramelized onions, french fries. Toppings for all that stuff. Ketchup, mustard, mayo. Carving station. We've got jasmine rice fried yuca, vegetable curry, and grilled vegetables. Macaroni and cheese. Oh, well, there's no jasmine rice on there. I think that's what that mac and cheese is supposed to be. Um, oh, I think they got them switched. So that's shrimp mac and cheese over there. We've got uh, grilled mahi-mahi, pork with mango sauce, country fried chicken, and then that's the jasmine rice desserts. So let's go back here to the uh, to, towards the front of the ship and see if all of this stuff over here is any different. I think it's pretty much all the same. So pretty much all the same, but you have two different uh, areas to grab food from, which is kind of nice. So that's not so crowded all in one spot. Um, and so far it's not super busy for, you know, lunchtime being right on the ship. It's pretty easy to navigate and, uh, get food from. So I'm going to go back over here to the other one. So I have less, uh, distance to carry my food. So, uh, Taylor's going to rig up some food. I'm going to let my stuff sit on the table there just for a second. Cause I don't have any silverware, but I did want to just kind of come out and take a look here at the, uh, I guess this is the port of Everglades, right? when you're shooting on a super wide lens, it's uh, really difficult to get a lot of stuff in focus. But um, it's pretty interesting to be on a ship that is like right next to a legit uh, industrial port. You know, uh, we don't normally see this. Miami, you might get a, a little bit of a view of it depending on what ship you're on. But um, you know, we're like right in uh, the industrial part here of the port. So we've got all of these shipping containers. You've got, uh, looks like scrap metal over there. I wonder where that's gonna end up going to. That's pretty interesting, but just look, I don't know if you guys can really see it all that well, but there are just tons of sailboats out there, uh, you know, in this port area. There's actually a giant yacht coming in. So we'll end up going, uh, probably backing out 
and going straight out into the ocean way out that way uh, and making our way to the Bahama, the Haba 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 Bahamas, to the Bahamas here uh, very soon. So we uh, got our drinks and um, a couple of things to note so far when you get on. So you can purchase um, a 10 drink package, uh, meaning that it's 10 drinks that you get and it's $99 and that's per person. So each person will get 10 drinks for $100. Um, so we had $50 on board credit, so we use that towards that. Now, here's the catch. When you get on, they say that those drinks that are included in the 10 drinks are this size. And uh, to take full advantage is to get one of the um, blenders here. So we did that. And um, the blenders, mind you, are $20 a piece. And then with the drink package, you refill them and it's $5. So, so far there's a lot of upselling, um, which again, it's not like it's a bad thing, but you have to understand that whenever you're on a cruise or anything for that fact of the matter, that is um, very budget friendly, very less expensive than other stuff, they have to make up their money somewhere else. And a lot of times that isn't upselling. So um, I don't think it's a huge deal. We're gonna spend a little bit more money than we planned on it or planned on spending, but you know, we're on a cruise. So we're gonna relax and have some fun. We're at the back of the ship and this is the 12 volt bar straight ahead of us. We've got one of the poles back here. There's a hot tub on either side of us um, and not super busy at the moment. And I really like the decoration of the stacks back here. I know it's just something little, but you know, it's kind of nice. It's, it's a good aesthetic, I think, in a lot of ways. So I don't really know, to be honest with you, what the old ship really looked like. Um, as far as the Bahama Paradise ship or whatever, but I mean, so far, you know, I think for the most part, this outdoor deck area is plenty good enough for two nights on board. So we may or may not end up out here at some point later today or tomorrow night. We'll just have to wait and see. But for now, we're going to head forward um, and check out the other hole, which is in the center of the ship. So this is not something that I've seen before which is, uh, you know, an artificial turf on a deck. It's a little strange. Whoa! That's interesting. I will say that this probably is pretty nice to walk on uh, during the day yeah, when it's I super hot up. It still gets pretty hot. My grand Compared to a hot uh, deck, you think? My grandma's pool deck is this. Well, it was this. And I remember I used to have to sprint across it to get in the water. And now we are at the licensed to uh, chill pool. See, that's pole. where you need to hang out underneath that shade. Oh, area. that is pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, that guy right in the middle has got the right idea. Yeah, he's got a pretty good seat, I guess. He sure does. Oh no, my lid fell off. Can you grab that? I will say that's the one thing I don't like is these lids aren't very. Uh, you're literally Decent not going to believe what just happened. I just stuck my straw up my nose. <laughs> Wow, Taylor's had way too much to drink. Well, it's really bright. I can't see it. I just went like this and I went the wrong direction. It is super bright outside. But uh, there are already some people in the pool here. And, uh, I, you know, there's not a ton of seats out here. So I kind of wonder if, like, what if everybody's out here on deck? But maybe not. I don't know. There's not a lot of people out here already. It's um, it's pretty slim. So let's uh, let's keep making our way around the ship. Check it out. If they keep playing music like this music, the whole cruise, all the music Jimmy Buffett. Or I don't it, care. This is like good, like drinking music. So we were just on the jogging track. So we're oh. gonna see if we can go up one more and check out the hangout area. We're gonna skip a whole deck because this is a ship that doesn't believe in thirteen. Oh, I see. I always forget about that. Oh, it's like an arcade a little bit arcade games it's cool in Air here hockey like it feels good well, it's not a bad place I mean it's not open currently I'm sure it'll be open later tonight oh, there's somebody working on something over there here's a non-tinted window for some reason okay so I don't gamble but 
If there's one thing that I oh, do do. Oh, for crying out loud. It's a coin push game. And there's one right there. <laughs> and, and, and they what? got, they have a, they have a quarter machine right here so you can get your quarters. Right next to it. Perfect placement. So we're going through the casino area, which is obviously not open at the moment, but um, you know, they've got the slot machines, they have the card tables. So really anything that you might want to do that you'd find on either the cruise line, you're gonna find it here, which is really kind of nice. Um, that it's very accommodating, I think, for just about everybody. These are the same slot machines I think I saw in Vegas. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this back here is the Oasis room, which I think is just another kind of like little lounge. Um, it's a pretty big lounge. Area? Looks like. This is pretty decent size with live One, entertainment. 180 views. 180 views, Taylor. I like that. It's a good selling point right there. <laughs> 180 views. All right, so we're going to head down to the next deck and uh, check this out. So we're on deck nine right now. We're going down to eight. And this definitely has that I Margaritaville the theme, I think. You know, uh, far more than probably any of the other lounges that we've seen so far. This is the most people in one place that I've seen so far. The most people in one place. Oh, it is, right? Look at this. There's quite a few people in here. So, yeah. um, oh, and there's a bar over here. That's probably why. Yeah. So earlier, just a little bit ago, I think they were actually doing a trivia down here and the entertainment's over this way. Oh yeah, there'll be a band playing over here later on. And then we get this uh, view down to where we came in at. So there's the big sandal. And our room's right near there. And uh, yeah, our room's like right over there. So we're on deck eight. We gotta go down to five to get to our room. So um, believe it or not, which I find to be extremely surprising is that this ship actually has kids clubs on it yeah. i don't know how well those kids clubs are made or done but they have kids clubs so they have a kids club which is a pair of keats and they also team. have a teens club so this is called the euphoria bar now again let me explain this i explained it earlier we've got the quote unquote drink package which is 10 drinks on here taylor has our two cups each cup was 20 dollars and included the first drink now, every time that we get those refilled, it will be $5, and it will remove one of our drinks, so. They did say. A little bit of an upcharge here. They did say, if you want to, that you can use two drinks at a time and just dump both of the little drinks into this instead of paying $5 for the extra. Um, so you can kind of do it as you want to, um, but yeah. Uh, whatever. Whatever, you're on vacation. Take a seat at the bar. We're always on vacation. <laughs> Literally. If only it always felt like that though. Maybe for Taylor sometimes, cause she doesn't have to go home and edit. She does have to go back and go to work. Yeah. But I have to go home and this, constantly sit at my computer. I will be sitting at my computer on this ship, believe it or not, so. You will. No, it definitely does always feel like vacation to me because I do have to go home and go back to work. When Josh goes to work, it's going to work in the office in at my desk. Yeah, at his desk. In so our office like, space yeah, at our home. Yeah, in our office. So, like, I actually have to commute to work. So, during the rat race. <laughs> I commute down the hallway. He does. Hi, how are you? Hello. Yes, how are you? Good. So, if you don't know this about me, because we don't, you know, we don't really play music or listen to music in any of our videos, but I really don't like country music, but I can essentially tolerate it and I can enjoy it sometimes depending on my atmosphere. So Taylor, like, we're on Margarita Volte. How many Jimmy Buffett songs do you know? Pretty much everyone that's played so far. I will say that it's really interesting that each time I get a Long Island. It tastes different every time. Especially I from it. different, 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 different. Especially from different bars. I hope people like this video. Whether it's on this ship <laughs> or Royal Caribbean or any other ship, it tastes different every single time. And I think mostly that's because um, it depends on how much soda Alcohol. they're putting in and how much um, Cointreau that they put in there. Should always be about the same, but it varies. So not that it really matters that much, but so they give you like, so with these cups, it is a $5 extra charge if you have like the drink package or whatever to get this big glass. 
So, you know, we did have to pay 1180. That was at the 18% service charge. So I'm signing this and it was Josh's card. So I wrote Josh's name on there. And it's really funny because I signed Taylor Vaughn <laughs> instead of Josh Rippey. It's fine. Can we dispute that charge later on? Vaughn, Vaughn somebody, is, somebody Vaughn's not Taylor, even ready. <laughs> somebody named so. Taylor Vaughn signed for it. Don't know who that is. What, deck 11? It's uh, 4.30. This would be drink number three. Mind you, I had about an hour and a half break in between two and three. I asked for a Long Island I see, and she said a Long Island or a strong island. Uh, may I have a Long Island, please? You want a Long Island or a strong island? And I said a strong island, and uh, I'll tell you what, it's almost impossible to drink. So we're, um, oh God, we are on deck 11, like I mentioned already, we're doing our, uh, this is a tradition, like on any cruise, there's usually a sail away party. And so we're up on deck 11, it's usually the outer deck, they have like a little sail away. So we're kind of waiting for that. Now, what I will say, what I actually really, really enjoy is that it is not overcrowded with a bunch of people. Whether that's because this ship is not sold out or there's just not a ton of people up here, um, it's just, it's not overwhelming, which is really nice. So we're waiting for the ship to set sail. We've got dinner at six o'clock. We've got a show at eight. And uh, yeah, excited, um, I think is, is, a, is the right word for this. You know, I really try to not have any preconceptions coming into this from, previous reviews and videos and uh i'm excited i think it's going well very like very well so far um so cheers to um two nights away on something that i think a lot of people probably write off that you really should so let's go to the bahamas so we are uh getting ready to leave i think the port they keep kind of like signaling the horn and I'm really, really regretting this strong island iced tea. <laughs> it's almost unbearable to drink. Almost unbearable. And she said, I'll see you later when you come back for another one. She ain't going to see me later because I ain't going back. Did you see that? Meatballs. You don't see oh, why meatballs on there? Oh my gosh, okay. what? <gasps> cheese, cheese souffle. Cheese souffle. Our mics are almost dead, but we should be good. We'll be fine. I think we'll last for most of dinner. If not, I brought the other mics. So Thank yeah, you. so we're eating at JWB, which is the Prime Steakhouse. Now, something you guys should know that this is actually connected to Finn's, um, and I believe all of the skinny is actually immediately here to the right, so you'll see that as soon as we get in and sit down. Yeah. All right, so we are sitting at JWB, um, and I will say that, like, for the most part, I think what's been most noticeable is that the staff here is super, super friendly, like, above and beyond. Um, honestly, what I would expect on Disney, like, they're super friendly, awesome, uh, and, and really going out of their way to, like, make sure that we're having a great time so far. So, um, yes. Taylor just got a, uh, a bottle of, no or not, uh, sorry, a glass of Riesling, um, and I said, you know, I don't drink wine. He's like, oh, you're driving tonight, and I was like, yes, I... I am driving tonight. So, um, yeah, so super cool. I'm interested to see. Now, JWB is a section of Finn's restaurant. So, Finn's is the complimentary dining location. This is where we're going to be at tomorrow night. Um, but, but it's completely separate in a sense that, like, we have to enter JWB before you get to Finn's. So, we're sitting in JWB right now, which is a extra charge. Um, uh, for us, it is included with our cruise fare. So, just keep that in mind for tonight. But um, we're excited and uh, interested to try and see what the food's like.
Okay, so just so everybody knows, it operates the same as any other cruise line. You get to choose from one starter, one soup and salad, one of the main entrees here, which is, uh, I think Taylor's probably gonna go with ribeye. I'm also probably gonna go with ribeye. Um, and then we've got these table sides down here, and I don't know how that's gonna operate, but um, I think we're probably gonna get a couple of them. It sounded like maybe she said two? Mm -hmm. per person maybe not That's what it like. um, and then we also have desserts down here so we've got banana cream pie trace leches chocolate cake and key lime pie uh, none of which really sound all that interesting to me if I had to choose it would be chocolate cake so we'll see how that goes um, and as we said earlier Taylor uh, has a so the sommelier came over to our table and he asked if we wanted any wine tonight. Josh said he was not having any wine. I actually asked for the Prosecco, which I saw on the menu, because I did not see a Riesling, which is what I would have chose first. Um, but he was like, unfortunately, we don't have any Riesling or we don't have any Prosecco right now. He's like, but would you like a Riesling? He's like, that's also sweet. And I was like, that's exactly what I was going to ask for next. So perfection. He read my mind essentially. So we got some drinks coming and the menu looks really good. Taylor, how's your steak tartare? Mm. The steak tartare is really good. There is like some egg yolk in there. Um, and this is, if you don't know, steak tartare is raw beef. Um, <laughs> It is very good. Um, it's all cut to a very nice size, um, bite size. There is some crostini on the side that you can put it on, get a little added texture in there, some crunch. Um, I taste a little bit of like, almost like a mustard in there, which has a really nice flavor. It kind of balances everything out with the beef. Um, very good way to start the meal. And I'm really excited to try Josh's meatball, which I don't think he I'm was sorry, planning what? on sharing, but I'm, I'm definitely not having a bite. I'm meatballs with you at all. <laughs> These are mine. So uh, for my appetizer tonight, I went with the Wagyu meatballs uh, served with a uh, kind of like a polenta cake? cake disc. I don't really know, but um, the Wagyu meatballs are pretty good, and uh, I think the only thing is slightly not as uh, tender as I would have expected, but still flavor-wise, absolutely amazing, um, and really, really good. And dare I ask for another serving of meatballs, because Taylor's going to try and eat them, and I'm going to tell her no, because she can eat her dog food-looking steak tartare. Taylor, how was your French onion soup? So we both got French onion soup for our soup tonight. It was delicious. I still have a couple bites left, but very flavorful broth. Uh, Josh even had like a little bit of bay leaf in his and like super good flavor in there. You could really taste the beef and then the croutons were nice and soaked up by that broth with the cheese on top. And I actually love when cheese melts down the side of the bowl or the crock or whatever it's served in and you can kind of scrape it up the sides and put it back in because then it's a little extra crispy and then it kind of soaks up that broth too. Um, but very... Uh, I'm getting stuffed already and we still have the steaks to come. And dessert. But, and dessert. The ribeyes here tonight at JWB were fantastic. A really nice crust on the steak. It was cooked to a perfect medium rare. Really tender and overall just amazing. It was a lot of food for this meal and we still have dessert. I am so full, but I'm gonna try and have a few bites of my cake. But this was a great first night for dinner on Margaritaville at sea. So I am excited to try the main dining room tomorrow night, but this was really good. So if you come on this ship, definitely recommend trying this out. All right, so Taylor and I are making our way to Euphoria for uh, a little adult fun and it looks like it might be pretty busy oh, it's busy so our excursion group is now disembarking the ship so we are following the line we got our tickets we got our room keys we got our towels we are all set all right so we're just kind of hanging out right now, waiting for the whatever's next. Somebody, we just saw a stingray going through the water, which was cool. It wasn't big, it was a little, little one, but um, 
we've got the underwater housing so it worked out pretty well for uh, the Disney Wish when we did that so we're gonna try it today and so we can get some cool shots with the pigs and anything we see underwater maybe so so we just got our instructions from General Brooks over here we're getting some snacks on our skewers and then we'll be heading out you want to get started? <laughs> Go ahead. I did with the kids. Huh? Josh has got his skewer, loading it up with some apples. Oh yeah, I got bit by one of those just a minute ago. Fly. Yeah. We're all about to head way out in the water there. You have it just in case. All right, here we go. I'll go. This is a pretty large group of people for an excursion. But there's lots of space in the water, lots of pigs. We are really excited. <laughs> <laughs> so once we're out in the water, they release the pigs, they start swimming out to you, and it is kind of a cool experience uh, getting to feed the pigs. You don't feed them with your hand, obviously. You let them eat right off the stick. Um, if they pull the stick out of your hands, you know, you just let it go. Uh, and we were out here for probably like maybe 15 minutes or so. So it wasn't super long, but... Uh, again, it is kind of a cool experience. The only thing you have to watch out for are the floating meatballs, which uh, is pig poo. And after that, you get to actually hold some of the baby pigs. And uh, that was also kind of cool too. A lot of people really enjoyed that experience. Um, you know, what differs from this and other experiences is that uh, in a lot of places, you aren't allowed to take your own photos and videos. So they let us do that here, which was really, really cool. Well, that was cool. That was cool. It was a little shorter than I expected it to be, but with so many people and yeah. like, it, it might be a little too much for the pigs to do it any longer than Probably. we did. Um, but it was still really cool. Getting yeah. to feed them, they literally swim right up to you when they see that food. They <laughs> it did. was cool. And then the little baby pigs, the one that we held was so calm. Yeah, it, they were super chill. They got chill. your arms and just- They just laid there. Laid there, didn't yeah. care. So that was cool. And yeah. the, the water was really nice. Not super, well, I mean, it's summertime still. Yeah, but so water's good. Yeah, water was nice and comfortable. It was good. All right, y'all, that's gonna conclude our little cruise here on Margaritaville at Sea Paradise. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll be honest that I has, I has, oh my lord. Oh boy. Um, I'll be honest that I saw a lot of negative reviews about this cruise. Mm -hmm. um, but to be honest with you all in all, I think that for the price that you're going to pay to be on this ship, mm -hmm. it's not that bad. Yeah. Um, is the food, like as far as like the buffet goes in the main dining room, is it great? Maybe not. Um, is it the worst? Definitely not. No, you know? I actually thought everything was pretty good. And our experience at JWB, um, for those of you who don't know that's uh, Jimmy Warren Buffett, uh, the steakhouse restaurant, um, again, I think exceeded our expectations it of how the quality great. of the food was going to be. Yeah, that so, ribeye was my favorite meal on the ship. Yeah, I mean, all in all, I mean, if I had anything at all to complain about on this ship, it would be the bathroom because it's just old and this literally, ship is old. Literally and, not even the bathroom, just the shower. Yeah, I that's mean, it. And, and really, like, that's it. But, I mean, when you think about it, I think that this is the perfect opportunity that if you've never cruised before, mm -hmm. you're thinking about doing it, this is a really good, like, stepping stone. This is, you know, um, it's not the best cruise line. It's not necessarily the worst cruise line, mm -hmm. but it's a stepping stone. And I think that that's the expectation that you should have coming into this is that, you know, if you've never done it before, you're really worried about seeing, like, the open water, and everything else um, and you really want to test yourself because almost all the rooms here are either inside or an ocean view portal mm -hmm. um, this is a great place to start this is literally only 97 nautical miles away from miami miami to freeport that's all the further you're going you know one way there and one way back and i thought it was great i barely felt the ship move the whole entire time i mean that's not always going to be the case but right. you're not going very fast and you're not going very far and I mean, the crew has been great. Like, not just to us, like we've seen other guests' interactions and like yeah. everybody has seemed to have a really good time while they are on here. This is really a cruise to come and relax, have some drinks, eat some food, and really just chill out. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great cruise for uh, groups of friends, mm -hmm. some family. 
you know and like i said it's just don't buy into all of the negativity that has come out about this you know i think it's just have the proper expectations when you step into it and yeah you're gonna have a great time so yeah we did little floating meatballs in the ocean that's what I'm always going to think of <laughs> <laughs> Always going to think of that. So, um, yeah, so let us know, you know, kind of after seeing these videos or this video, I don't know how many videos it's going to be, one or two. Um, let us know, you know, are you going to give Margaritaville Etsy a chance? Mm -hmm. um, because to be honest with you, I would definitely do this again. I would spend the money to come back and just hang out mm -hmm. and relax for two nights, have mm -hmm. a destination at the beach yeah. in, in Bahamas and just Long weekend. Chill break during the week yeah whatever for sure so with that being said we will see you all in the next one whenever that might be